<laughs> yeah, I appreciate the suggestion, but I'm going to start the show pretending to be on the phone. How you doing? Here at the Carter Show, we've been getting a bit of slack lately, mainly about swearing. Apparently, we don't do enough of it. Now, there are other comedy shows out there that have been dropping the F-bomb to give their jokes a little extra kick. I won't say what shows I'm referring to, because that would be unprofessional. Now, we drop shit and ass every now and then, we understand that's not meeting the quota. So, in retaliation, we've decided, let's drop the C-bomb on the show. Now, what's the best way to actually work the C-word into the show? Do we put it in a skit? Do we work it into the monologue? And I decided, let's turn it into a tasty treat. And here's how. Grab a regular bounty bar and a black texture. Simply colour in the B and colour in the Y. And very carefully turn the O into a C. Welcome to The Carter Show. Now, for those of you using 3D TVs at home, put your 3D glasses on now. <laughs> now, if you want to get those boys, you need to stay fit. But why go to the gym when you can just buy a t-shirt with abs already on it? Right, before we get started on anything, this is uh, episode three, and by now we've actually got a few more members of staff for the show, which is pretty cool. We've got a bit of a work experience kid called Davey. Can we get, do we have, we can't get, can we get a photo of Davey just to put up real quick? <laughs> Stock photo, what do you want? Now, da Davey's very keen. Is, have we got a shot of Davey? Can we get a shot of little Davey? Down there? Put the, turn the camera. <laughs> Davey's very keen. He's always asking if he can help us out on the show. He's always saying, oh, I can use this idea. Um, can I get you some props for the show? We don't use many props for the show. We've got next to nothing, next to nothing on the desk over there. and We don't use many for skits or anything like that. But um, this week we've got a bit of a neighbours theme, which I'll talk about later. Everybody needs good neighbours. And, um, you know, he said, oh, can I get you a neighbours prop? And I was like, oh, Jesus. 
I said, yeah, get me, get me a hat with Dr. Carl and me partying on it. I didn't think he could actually get it. So now he's got it, I felt guilty, so now I'm wearing it on the show and now it's a tax write-off, so. <laughs> Gareth, I don't have any favorite, don't get jealous, it's all right. <laughs> We've got an interview with, as I said before, there's a, a neighbors, a neighbors theme. Neighbor. Uh, tonight, we've got Jerry, who's been driving the neighbors tour bus uh, forever. So we'll be testing his knowledge on Scott and Charlene and uh, Harold and Imagine that's the only names I know of the show. Uh, we've got all the same segments, uh, toilet picks and all that you love. Uh, we've also got a couple of new segments, which is pretty cool. And um, I'm not wearing this hat anymore. <laughs> Gareth, dance. How's it week bit, Gareth? All good? Not too many phone calls? <laughs> Snapchat photos? Or... Yeah. For those who missed last week's show, uh, we gave away Gareth's phone number. Um, it was an immature thing to do. Um, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. We shouldn't have done it. But, you know, we're trying to get a few laughs and I think we got, we got two or three of people laughing. <laughs> We've got sound effects now. Have we got sound effects now? Ready? Hey, who likes commercials? Because we've got some. We'll be right back. I was born in the night in a dark room. The sky was black, no stars, a new moon. There was a midwife, my mother, the old man. Okay, uh, something new on the show tonight. Uh, I have about a thousand DVDs at home and half of them I don't watch, some of them are gifts and ones I bought and I regret. So we're doing a little competition and whoever wins gets uh, a DVD that I hate. <laughs> so we'll start with this one. Get a shot of that. I don't get it. Um, it looks like, it's like a Daniel Steele action. Uh, it just seems like a real Kmart. Anyway, I'm not going to bag all of these. Hunger Games one of them. The ones uh, you just bought for the cover, which you think is going to be an awesome movie. <laughs> and it's not. <sighs> nice. Actually, <coughs> I'm going to keep that one. Um, just, we can't have too many. That's just, you know. This one, ooh, a Blu-ray. Animal Kingdom. Everyone said this was awesome. It's not. What? What else we got? Um, I'm a bit of a superhero fan, and uh, I heard about this show that was basically Batman's daughter uh, running around Gotham being a new crime fighter. <laughs> Terrible. It is, it is so bad. There is a reason I and no one else here has ever heard of this show. So, <laughs> the grabs. What else we got? Uh, Taken 2. Got this one in Bali. Taken and Taken 2 are quite cool movies. I just can't turn the subtitles off on this one, so it's in a box. There we go. Oh, this one's bad. Uh, this is a Blu-ray as well, but I took the cover and used it for something else. <laughs> I'm trying to get through these pretty quickly. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, I'm a fan of the Michael Caine one, but this one sucks. <laughs> this one, we've got, we've got Britney, Britney Spears' uh, best video clips. Uh, I don't know why that made in the mix. Uh, hang on to that one. Uh, De Niro and uh, Al Pacino. And crap, heat's awesome. This is shit. 
12, 12 rounds from the producer of Die Hard 2. So, not to name drop. <laughs> what, what was that you told me the other day, Gareth? With the, um, the movie 300. The old one was on TV and the new one was at the movies. And um, Gareth said, if you've watched 300 once, you're a man. If you've watched it twice, you're gay. <laughs> This one, Midnight Meat Train, uh, an ex-girlfriend loved it, I didn't, so, it's got Bradley Cooper and that dude from all the, um, I don't know, Doug's movies, Vinnie Jones, so. Uh, to win one of these, you just need to go to the Carter Show Facebook page, obviously you have to like it, if you haven't already, what are you doing, and you need to write, what do they need to write, Gareth? Okay. Uh, I know for a fact our budget has actually gone up, and... Why isn't Gareth mic'd? <laughs> you have to write The Carter Show smells like strippers and regret. The first one or first 15 to write that. You can take your pick or you're going to win all of them. Um, I will autograph any one of them or Gareth will autograph any of them. internet must be down in all 10 of our viewers' households because no one has liked or written anything on the page. <laughs> We've got a new segment on the Carter Show. Uh, this one I thought of when I remembered hanging out back in Perth with a mate Stuart when we were about 17. There's not much to do in Perth when you're 17 unless you're stealing cars. So we were doing little pranks, mainly on a mate of ours named Matt. We'd fill his car with balloons. He never locked his car. Um, we'd move bulk rubbish an entire land room and set up the front of his house. Uh, a good one, kids, is to roll down your mate's window, cover the seat in glass, and put a rock on the seat. And they only realise that there's nothing wrong with their car when they take it to the shop and the guy at the glass place rolls his window back up. But, uh, yeah, so this segment is basically a little pranking segment. So, let's check it out. Hi, my name's Grant Carter, and I recently travelled to the States on the border of Mexico and picked up one of these, which appears to be a fairly harmless keyring, but if you pull the trigger, it actually gives you a fairly decent electric shock. And the rest of the video speaks for itself. Can we figure out? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> Look cool. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's the little laser light. <laughs> no, no, like the actual trigger. <laughs> That's your response? <laughs> No, the light trigger and everything, that's the... Oh, fuck! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can play with my little gun if you want. It's a cool laser pointer from, um, Mexico. Oh, really? Yeah, have a go. <laughs> okay. If it's, it's, if it's more than a little... <laughs> I'm gonna knee you in the balls! Did you do it? <laughs> Smells like it's time for toilet picks. Our first toilet pick comes from Mark, and Mark's from uh, Dandenong. Let's have a look. At first glance, I didn't. We actually almost deleted this photo, I didn't really think much of it, I was like, it's a toilet. People really aren't getting the... Again, don't send me photos of your crap, okay? <laughs> but this one, we weren't sure about, and then we zoomed in on just the top bit of the photo, so let's have a closer look. <laughs> I'd love to know where you were. <laughs> okay, our next toilet pick, your bored housewife. So she's a bored housewife and mother, 
So she's gone to a little bit of effort for this one. So uh, have a look. Oh, those kids are going to be messed up when they get up. All right. Now you ready? This is the very first toilet video. Okay, and this is from this is from Trent, and Trent's from Geelong. So show us what you got, Trent. The future is now! <laughs> <laughs> They've got that in Geelong? We don't have it... I haven't seen that anywhere in Melbourne. Our toilet's just flush. <laughs> We've got to go to commercial break, but we'll be right back. Uh, hopefully so will you. When I was born in the night in a dark room The sky was black, no stars, a new moon There was a midwife, my mother, the old man And a sound effect... What a great segue to Pyro Girl! Welcome to another episode of Pyro Girl! Yeah! Uh, on the show today we're actually murdering my nephew's favourite toy, the singing bingo dog. Hug your teddy, go on. Um, Henry. Henry, go and hug Bingo. Hug Bingo. Give him a cuddle. Give him a cuddle. Henry, go and hug Bingo. Hug Bingo. <laughs> um, he, it never leaves his side. He takes it everywhere he goes. He can't pry it out of his hands. <laughs> well, luckily he is a heavy sleeper. because the last interview we had was the first Asian Jesus ever. Uh, now, I, I tried to think what tops the Catholic religion in Australia. Well, Neighbours would come close. So, we're interviewing Jerry, who has been running the Neighbours tour forever. And you can't stump this guy on any trivia about Charlene or Harold or anyone on the show. But I'm going to give it a go. Now, we did have an opening segment for this as Neighbour, you know. But if we play the song, we actually have to pay, I think it's about $2,000 uh, for the episode which we're not, we're not doing, we don't have the money. So uh, this is the Neighbours song in reverse. Yeah, it wasn't creepy. <laughs> okay, let's uh, flick over to the interview with Jerry. 
Right, we're here on Ramsey Street with Jerry the tour guide who's been doing the Neighbours tour for six years. Six years, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to try and stump him with some Neighbours questions. That, and I just think he looks so much like Eric Banner that we're going to have him on the show. You mean like this? Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Better chop a read. That's right. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, uh, speaking of um, uh, the little Aussie celebrities, yes. uh, Russell Crowe has been on Neighbours. How mad does he get every time they claim that Neighbours launched his career? <laughs> uh, well, since it was before, you know, some of his earliest things, I reckon that, look here, he gets very angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Russell. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's go Russ, be angry. Go. Anyone from uh, Perth knows the Go Russ Go story? Uh, yes. okay, come on to the Facebook page, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Paul Robinson, how did he lose his leg? Oh, one of the legends. Basically, uh, it's we believe in a thing like karma. You know, every time he does something evil, something bad has to happen to him. So every so, episode? <laughs> near enough, every episode. Yep. So basically, he did fraud originally, was sent to jail, and then he killed somebody, burnt somebody down in uh, Lou's pub when it went on fire. So then we had to lose a leg. Good. But what happened is he was thrown off the cliff. And um, did I see in a promo the other day that he's the mayor? Of, uh, he is, he's the Lord of Mayor at the moment. Just like, you killed know, a guy, <laughs> burnt him alive, and he's the mayor. Nobody Good. knows that he killed the guy, it's the oh, audience right. knows this. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Otherwise, you wouldn't be the Lord Mayor. Very right. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how did Harold die? Oh, uh, you mean the fake death? Because <laughs> Harold actually. Can we need to check, can we check yeah. which question we're at? <laughs> this is it. Harold. Basically, was swept off some rocks by Madge, or when she, he was married to Madge, and then basically he came back about five and a half years later after swimming in the Bass Strait for about 180 kilometres of shark infested freezing cold water. <laughs> then, with his amnesia, <laughs> about 70. Yeah, with his amnesia, he still wanted to marry Madge even though he could have forgot about her. Oh, just that's that's, love. that's the notebook that's, right there. Oh, that's crazy. That's beautiful. <laughs> um, I don't really have a question, but remember the episode where Madge was blind and the dishwashing gloves caught on fire? And she ran around city fire to the whole house. <laughs> we would have been here from everyone. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, uh, had a bit of trouble uh, getting on the street today because there's a fair amount of security, uh, which I didn't really know anything about. So I'm glad Jerry clued me on that one. Um, what brought the, all the security guards about? Well, the reason for the security and the palings to block off the street is actually uh, people's stupidity. Right. <laughs> Obviously, during <laughs> filming, you have to have security for the equipment and yeah. also the characters and all that stuff. But then a young man about, you know, 10 years ago decided to urinate off one of the balconies. Who didn't he, live here? No. Nice. This is 9.30 in the morning, confronted oh. by the owner of the house who sort of brought his cricket bat to Good. say thank you very much. Good. Also, it wasn't Harold. Uh, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, right. Right. And then, of course, back in the day, like, you know, they had to bring security in and block it off every evening because young men they have their cars they bring their cars they uh, like doing burnouts in the street not only that gosh. they think i'll bring my girlfriend along i'll try and consummate my relationship on a garden bed what better garden <laughs> bed than the world's <laughs> wait wait wait, wait, wait. <laughs> i get i get the doughies yeah, yeah, <laughs> in the driveway going oh see look that yeah, was me i can see it people, people are having sex in the bushes on ramsey street <laughs> Not anymore. Since no, security. no, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So we got we got Rocky, the no, security guard. Of course, his name's Rocky. Yeah, no, he's <laughs> he's stopping everyone. That's great. All right. Well, thanks uh, for talking Pleasure, to us, Jerry. Good. Not a yes. problem. And um, Ramsey Street. We're here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> thanks. Uh, can I get you to sing the theme? Oh no, I can't sing, but I can good. certainly say the words. Neighbors, everybody needs good neighbors <laughs> with a little understanding. Oh, that's plenty. Right, that's go, plenty. Go, go, go. Come on, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. This is it, this is Kylie's, uh, this is where the love began, look who's next door, it's Jason, ooh, love is in the air, especially for you. <laughs> Go. Neighbors, everybody needs good neighbors. <laughs> it's a really classy show. <laughs> you gotta love this kind of stuff. Right? All right, thanks. Can we put them next to each other? I reckon that's why half the interview was awesome, because it was like I was talking to Eric Banner. Can we get Eric Banner? Uh, we got this. No, we can't get Eric Banner. Neighbor. Okay, now, uh, as I said, you ask uh, Jerry absolutely anything, and you can't stump him. So, um, there's not many questions left.
but I think it's still time to ask Canada. <laughs> I, I think my sister's parents had sex once. That's a segment we're never getting rid of. Ever taken a photo of a billboard and accidentally cut off a vital part of it? <laughs> That's uh, all we have time for tonight on the show. Please keep sending in your toilet pics to uh, the Carter Show Facebook page. You can send a message there or granted underscore films at hotmail.com. Uh, remember to type on the Carter Facebook page. The Carter Show, the Carter Show smells like strippers and regret. And one of these babies is yours, autographed by me or Gareth. Or both of us. Oh, score. Um, special thanks to Jerry from the Neighbours Tour and uh, all my friends who are humiliated in uh, pranks tonight. <laughs> and Gareth. Gareth's phone number. Actually, murdering. Sorry, fucked it. His favourite toy, the uh, the singing. Oh, fuck. All right. Okay. Go. Welcome. My nephew's favourite dog, Bingo. One more. I'm shit at this. You just want to pour some metho on the uh, fire? Jeez, you almost overreacted then. <laughs>